big prize in the dating and mating game is the ability to attract and then keep an amazing woman, and you're about to learn how to win that game. If you don't know how to attract and keep an amazing woman, you're going to walk through your life unsatisfied, feeling hesitation and anxiety and a lack of fulfillment. And I'm not just talking here about attracting a woman that's pretty or intelligent or interesting. I'm talking about a woman that you think is the most amazing woman you've ever met. Now you might say to me, but I don't want to be with a famous supermodel, or I don't want to be with a woman that other people think is great. I want to be with a woman that I think is great. That's a good match for me. And that's exactly my point. When you meet her, when you meet her, that woman that's really the one, that woman that triggers the feeling that you actually want to be with her as a partner for the long term, she will actually be the most amazing woman in the world in that moment to you. I now think that each of us can meet our own total 10, that each of us can find the woman that we think is the most amazing woman in the world for us. You can find her, you can attract her, you can actually meet and have a relationship with that woman for you. But there's another more interesting challenge when you meet her. The question is, when you do meet this amazing woman, will she also feel the same way about you? Maybe the greatest tragedy in life is meeting the woman that could be the one for you. She's that amazing, but her not feeling the same way toward you. Okay, that's a true tragedy. And I don't want it to happen to you. In this video, I'm going to summarize some of the things I've learned in the last several years since meeting the most amazing woman in the world for me. I'm going to explain why I now think about the dating game completely differently, and I'm going to tell you what you need to master if you want to attract the most amazing woman in the world. So here's a question that's been on the minds of men for a long time. What do women want? Legend has it that Sigmund Freud, right, the father of modern psychology, said that after 30 years of trying to understand how our minds and emotions work, the question that he didn't know the answer to is, what do women want? Now it's taken me at least 20 years of consideration and thinking about it myself to come up with the answer. And it turns out that the answer is kind of a trick answer. So what do women want? Well, it turns out that it's not that women don't know what they want. It's that women typically don't know what they want in advance. Now as men, we're used to thinking about the future, right? thinking about what we want and planning how to get it. We know what we want in advance. We know what kind of car we want, we know what kind of job we want, we know what kind of woman we want. Women operate with a very different psychology. Okay? She has a vague idea of what she wants, but she's always looking because she knows it when she sees it. Okay? So this is one of the reasons why women tend to love shopping so much lots of chances to stumble upon the perfect thing so her emotions can say to her, that's what I want. And this provides the key to getting a woman to want you. And here's the fun part. What a woman wants more than anything is to find a man who knows what he wants. And this makes such simple sense. She wants someone who has a superpower that she doesn't have. Now I'm generalizing a little bit, but she's the emotional and the relationship genius who's sensitive, right, in the moment-to-moment -moment basis to what her partner, her friends, and her family need to feel safe and loved. And she needs to find a partner who's good at this other thing, at knowing what he wants to create and then going after it, creating it, and achieving it. Now imagine that you didn't have the skill to know what you wanted in advance, and you were interviewing potential relationship partners. What would trigger your internal hot button that this is the guy? Exactly. You'd want to find a man who was good at knowing what he wanted and how to get it so that you could have this skill as part of your relationship and ultimately as part of your family. So what a woman wants, but she doesn't know that she wants, is a man who knows what he wants. And the ultimate catch is a man who knows what his purpose is in life. If you know what your purpose is, then you'll be one of the most attractive men walking on this planet. And more importantly, when you meet your own most amazing woman in the world, she'll recognize you as having the superpower that's most attractive, and she'll feel the same way towards you that you feel towards her. So if you've made it to this video, then it's obvious that you're interested in finding more than just another date. That you're interested in learning the big game. How to attract a really special, magnificent woman into your life, 
and then have a great relationship with her. Now in my life, I didn't imagine that I would ever be teaching what I'm about to share with you. It was a complete shock and surprise to me. But if you'll stick with me for a few more minutes, I'll share what I've learned about finding one of those rare and amazing gems, those incredible women that I call a total 10, and then get her to be your girlfriend, and ultimately have a successful long-term relationship. So a few questions for you. Have you reached a point where you've learned a lot about dating and you're ready to go beyond just having your fun and you want to find a true life partner? Are you interested in attracting a much higher quality woman, a woman who's intelligent and sweet and attractive and who has high self-esteem and who's really up to making the most of her life? Is there a part of you that's actually romantic enough to believe that love is possible and that there's a woman out there who's a perfect match for you? Or maybe have you found her already and now you want to know how to progress to the next level and make sure the relationship works out? Well, you might be wondering why a guy like me, who's become a famous dating guru, would be talking about something like relationships and love. Okay? And you might be wondering if I've changed my tune after now getting married and starting a family. In fact, you might wonder if I've gone crazy getting married and starting a family. And the answer to that is surely at least a little bit yes, and we'll get to that in a minute. But first, let me tell you about something that happened to me that I didn't expect in a million years, and why it has changed everything that I believed about women, and attraction and dating. Now when I was younger, in school, in grade school, middle school, high school, girls were never interested in me. I'm not one of the guys that got notes and messages from girls in class and I never had a girlfriend. It was always so painful to see other guys holding hands with the girls that I dreamed about. Especially when I knew that these guys were not as nice as me or as smart or whatever, I just knew that I was a nicer, better guy. When I was in my late teens, I finally got a girlfriend and you know, then I would go through this pattern. I'd get a girlfriend and then I'd lose her and then I'd feel desperate for a while and then I'd kind of accidentally find another woman who was single and I'd get another girlfriend for a while, but I never felt like I was in control of this part of my life. I never felt like it was my choice to date a particular woman and I never had the confidence or the courage to walk up to a woman that I would see out in public. In other words, I wasn't in control of my own dating life and it still sucked. So finally, I decided to do something about it. I reached a point of frustration where I finally made a commitment to get this area of my life called women and dating figured out and to get it handled. Now when I get into something, I can sometimes be a little intense about it and I totally geeked out on this one. I read all the books, I went to the seminars, I tried the pickup lines that I found on the internet, I tried it all. And this stuff was interesting, but it didn't work that well, it was all very hit and miss, and unfortunately a lot of things that are being taught about how to meet women are just weird. A lot of it is manipulative or dishonest, and it just doesn't feel right to do. Okay, so it was hard trying to learn how to meet women, but learning things that didn't feel good to do and to say. Now the game really changed for me when I started hanging out with guys who I like to call naturals. The kind of guys who just seem to get it. I made friends with my next door neighbor, a young guy who was a stockbroker who was always going on dates with beautiful women. I made friends with a guy who used to be in a motorcycle gang who just got how women worked. I made friends with a guy who was an international playboy. I made friends with a guy who was a super computer geek who totally understood how to meet women online. What they all had in common was that they understood how to attract women. They were always surrounded by hot, attractive women. And then I started hanging out with them and watched what they did, okay, and paid attention and asked a lot of questions, and I realized that they were doing things to attract women that I wouldn't have thought of or done in a million years. They did things that seemed completely insane to me, and one after another, I saw them use these counterintuitive, psychologically, impossible approaches to meet and date some of the most beautiful women you can imagine. Now through this process, I learned the underlying methods and the techniques that became the foundation of my top selling programs and books like Double Your Dating. Now when I wrote the book Double Your Dating, I had no idea that it was going to go on to make me one of the best known dating teachers in the world and launch a huge successful business. I mean, I was a guy sitting in my bedroom at my computer just writing down the things that I had been learning about how to meet women 
And as you probably know, it went on to become a huge success. And after learning all the underlying psychology of how to trigger attraction in women, my dating life went from barren and desolate to being a, you know, a dating paradise. By learning how the power of attraction worked, I had this, this real superpower of being able to turn on chemistry with a woman anytime I wanted, and I had more dates than I could handle. And this was great. When I was single, I could get as many dates as I wanted anytime I wanted, and if I met an amazing woman, I could have a relationship and not act desperate because I knew that if something went wrong, I could always go out and find another woman. Now, some part of me always hoped that I'd find my partner in life, but the more years went by without me finding a woman that I really felt that way about, the more I realized that it might not happen for me. In fact, I got to the point in my 30s where I realized that maybe it just wasn't meant to be for me. And I actually got to the point where I made the decision that I was gonna have to accept being single for the rest of my life. And then I needed to just set up my lifestyle to deal with it, and I needed to accept it. And then, as often happens when we think we know what's going to happen, everything changed and I met her. I met the woman that was my most amazing woman in the world. And there was something that was different about her, okay? I could tell instantly there was something different. Something different about our conversation, something different about the chemistry between us. The normal things that worked to trigger attraction with other women stopped working. Something was different and it was very different. This was a new type of relationship and it required a new type of mindset and a new type of approach. Now, by the way, once you have met her, you feel a type of fulfillment that no amount of dating can ever replace. And you realize that you're playing a different game. Or more specifically, you realize you have to stop playing the game that you played before and you have to start having a relationship. But there's a big surprise that comes with meeting your own personal most amazing woman in the world. And the surprise is that she's also the biggest challenge that you will ever encounter in your life. The tests that she'll give you, the willpower that she'll demonstrate, and just the power that she has can actually be shocking, even intimidating or scary. In order to realize the potential of real love and have a successful, fulfilling relationship with this woman, you realize that you're going to have to move beyond the level you're at, and you're gonna to have to do it right now. Einstein, he's often quoted as saying that you can't solve a problem with the same level of thinking that created it. Well, you also can't have a successful relationship with the most amazing woman in the world by using a bunch of pickup lines or memorized dating routines. I can still remember when I made some of my first kind of standard cocky and funny jokes with the woman who's now become my wife. She stopped and just gave me a blank stare. I countered, I said, that was funny. And she just stared at me. So this was something new, okay, entirely new. And I needed to step up to the next level. So get this, this woman that I met, this woman who was obviously different, okay, very different, who's now my wife and the mother of my daughter, is the most deeply knowledgeable and intuitive expert on love and relationships that I have ever encountered. She's a love coach, which is fitting, really, if you think about it. And I've learned more from her about love, intimacy, and relationship than, honestly, from all the past teachers and mentors that I've had combined. She's truly a genius in this area, and much of what you're going to learn in this program comes from her. In fact, she was one of the teachers in the program, and I'll tell you more about that in a moment. And after being in love with her for several years, I realized that there were things that I didn't know when I was in my dating phase of my life, and some of them were preventing me from being able to have a successful, intimate relationship. I had a feeling that started gnawing at me and candidly gnawing at my conscience. I've always felt proud of the things that I've taught men about how to meet women and about how to become better, more successful, more actualized people. But the deeper that I got into my relationship with my wife, the more I realized that I had left out critical elements. And that without these pieces, it might never be possible for a man to attract his ideal partner, or worse, that he would attract her and then turn her off because he didn't know what to do differently with her because he wanted to have a relationship. So after considering it for a couple of years, I finally decided to come back and create the most sophisticated double your dating course ever. I call it Love, the final chapter. And if you're ready to learn the art of attracting and keeping the most amazing woman in the world, then I'd like to invite you to go through my newest course 
and to learn how to do it. Now, if you know me, then you know that I love to learn and that I'm always paying attention to new distinctions, new patterns, new ways of trying to solve complex issues with women, dating, relationships, and in all other areas of life. Going into the longest, most important relationship of my life has taught me so much and given me so much. And in this program, Love, the final chapter, I'm gonna show you the best of what I've learned in this process. As I often do, I decided to host a live in-person summit to teach this material and invite some of my friends who have also been studying the art of having a successful relationship. We all got together for four days and created what I think is the most important course on finding your romantic partner that's ever been created. We begin the program by revisioning what attraction is and how it works. I explain exactly how I figured out what triggers attraction originally, but this time with a twist. I explain it from the perspective of creating a successful relationship later on. And I explain what I wish I would have known back then that would not only have made attraction work much better, but also prepared me for my current relationship. I give you the essence, okay, the superpower that is the most important lesson from all of my other dating programs, summarized and with several more years of experience. Now this is the best summary of how attraction works and why things like cocky and funny trigger chemistry with women and why the different tricks that the dating gurus teach, why they work. It is the literal code for why women are attracted to men, now explained more clearly and usably than ever. And again, I teach you how to create attraction in a way that puts you in a better place when it comes to a future relationship. And if you don't know this, it's easy to create attraction in a way that makes a woman resent you later, which is bad. And here is how to do it in a way that makes her adore you for the long term. So the beginning of this course of Love the Final Chapter is an education in attraction, but from a higher level. We then dive into the mechanics of what's different about having a relationship and specifically a relationship with a really spectacular high quality woman. So what's different when it comes to an intimate romantic relationship? Well, everything, you know, that's what. As soon as you realize that you've met your partner rather than just another date, something clicks inside of both of you and you start behaving in ways that you don't around other people or around other women. A side of both of you comes out that you don't show to other people and it can actually be surprising and shocking. And what comes out is much stronger emotions Stronger emotions of affection, of joy, and also of fear and things like jealousy. And even more interestingly, when you meet the one, you often start fighting more than with other people you've dated before. Now this was one of the biggest surprises for me and something I now know can really screw guys up and cause them to screw up their relationships. In Love the Final Chapter, I explain how and why this happens and how to handle and deal with these new emotions that come up inside of you and inside of her and how to keep your head together and make sure the relationship stays together. By the time you're finished going through this video course, you will understand how romantic relationships work the same way that my other courses explain how attraction and dating works. You'll have the roadmap you need to navigate through the challenges, keep the attraction strong, and make sure you don't lose this amazing woman that you finally found. So here's a question. Have you already developed a standard, automatic way of approaching women and creating chemistry with them? Well, I have a warning for you. It's going to stop working when you find the woman that's going to be your long-term partner. This is one of those decisive moments in life, and it's an opportunity that you don't want to miss or screw up. If you don't know how to recognize when it's time to switch off the old approach and do something new, you're going to turn her off and it's over. I'll explain to you why this happens how to recognize when you've met the one, and what to do differently to create the deeper bond that leads to a long-term relationship. I also explain the real, deeper reason why we tend to have more conflicts and fights when we find the person who's actually right for us, and why this is actually just a temporary phase. And if you understand this model of why we have increased conflict when we find our mate, then you can get past it and create a much more loving, harmonious relationship. But if you don't understand how and why this conflict increases and how to navigate through it with skill, then you can get stuck and, and pulled down by it 
and the fighting can lead to a painful, heartbreaking separation. Inside of this program, Love the Final Chapter, I'll show you the road to navigate through this phase of the relationship and how to make sure you don't get trapped in a pattern of long-term fighting. I'll show you the one single most powerful hot button that triggers the emotion of attraction inside of women. And again, I explain it from the perspective of creating a long-term relationship with a woman that's going to be your partner. Now, if you don't have this new model, you're going to do things that will turn her off and you're just going to get into more conflicts that don't need to happen. Now, this powerful attraction model will, will make it a lot easier when you're dating women in the future as well because you won't have to try nearly as hard. In fact, you'll be able to relax and have your relaxation create even more chemistry and interest from women. Now, as you already know, there's a connection between a man's success in the world and his attractiveness. I now know that you don't have to be rich or handsome to attract an incredible woman. I'm proof of that, okay? But I also know that if you've reached your own goals with money and success, that you just feel a lot more confident and you stride through reality with an ease and comfort that makes everyone more interested in knowing you. So in addition to studying women and relationships over my adult life, I've also made a study of business and financial success because I come from a background where I was very poor and I wanted to figure this area out as well. Now the original success of my Double Your Dating book and the other courses that followed allowed me to study the process of building a successful business and a successful financial life and it turned out that there were just as many surprises as there were with women. Now inside of this course, I taught a session that was the most condensed and laser focused training I've ever taught on how to create high levels of personal and financial success. I taught the essence of how to be more productive, how to be a better leader, how to create entrepreneurial and financial opportunities, how to market and sell yourself and your products better, how to invest what you earn and create financial independence, and much more. This one session was actually worth the price of admission all by itself, honestly. But I knew that I needed to teach this material if this course was going to include all of the most important materials on how to be that man that she'll say yes to emotionally when you meet her. We also do a session on how to learn more effectively and how to retain more of what you learn so you can use it later in your life. Over the years, I've learned that the skill of learning is one of the fundamental skills for success in the future. By taking on a key area of life, like dating and relationships, or business and money, or my health, and digging in, I found that there are higher level or meta patterns that I've used to learn and implement the best in my life, and really create a great life that I love. If you want a woman to really be in love with you, then you have to be in love with your life. And this session teaches you how to learn rapidly, implement what you learn, and then use this power to create the life that you want to be living. So you're happy, fulfilled, passionate. You have a life that she wants to be part of. If you know how human development and learning works, then you know that the most powerful force and influence on our lives are the other people that we surround ourselves with. Role models and friends influence us by imprinting into our minds directly and deeply. You literally become who you surround yourself with. And in my journey to understand women, attraction, and dating, I've been fortunate to meet a group of men who are just extraordinary in their different unique knowledge and insights. You may have met some of these men in my other programs. For this program, Love the Final Chapter, I brought together a unique group of them to share the deeper emotional and psychological keys to making a long-term relationship work. You get to meet Dr. Brad Blanton, the author of one of my favorite books ever, Radical Honesty. He explains how our minds screw us up when we're in relationships with others and how to overcome the tricks that you know, our minds can play on us. You meet Dr. Jeffrey Miller, the author of my favorite evolutionary uh, psychology book on mating. It's called The Mating Mind. And in his presentation, he explains the latest research from evolutionary psychology on how and why we choose our mates and how how couples even compete with each other for dominance. Totally new material that will change how you think about relationships forever. You'll meet my good friend Alex Allman, who's an expert uh, on sex and intimate relationships, who explains how to overcome all kinds of limitations in the bedroom and insecurities about performance and other sensitive subjects. And you also get to meet my wife, 
okay, and get the most powerful perspective that I know of in the world when it comes to love and relationship. And that's just the beginning. My other friends and guests, they came to teach the most advanced models and methods for having a relationship that really brings joy to your life with their specific systems, their methods, their words to get through the toughest situations. Okay, most of this material is taught for the very first time in a dating context and the very first time in any of my programs. And finally, you'll learn how to find your life purpose. Okay, and this is the true key to becoming the highest possible version of yourself, reaching your potential, and becoming everything you can be. And it's also the key to attracting the most amazing woman in the world. Remember, she doesn't know what she wants until she sees it. And when she sees a man who knows what he wants, that triggers that deep kind of attraction, the kind where she wants to be in a relationship with you. So what's the value of a training course like this one? Well, the original cost to attend the live summit was $997 per person, and we filled it up at that price. The professionally edited video version of the course is arguably even more valuable, okay, because it's edited down, the best stuff, you can go back and review it as much as you want, and you can have it to watch anytime you need it forever. We've decided to price this course not in $997 or $897 or even $500. This course is priced at only $297 for the whole thing. And we also have a monthly payment plan if that makes it easier for you to afford it. And by the way, Love the Final Chapter, like my other courses, comes with a 100% money back guarantee. You can try the entire course for a full 30 days, go through the whole thing, try it out in your life, see that it works for you before you decide whether or not you want to keep it. If you decide at any point in the first 30 days that it's just not right for you, all you have to do is send me a message, ask for a refund, I'll give you back 100% of your investment, no questions asked. Okay, so you have no risk. So register right now for Love the Final Chapter. Start learning who you have to be and what you have to do when the most amazing woman in the world shows up in your life. Okay? So register right now and I'll see you inside this course. While you're deciding, watch the feedback from guys who were at the live summit. Okay? We just set up a camera and we asked guys, hey, will you just stop by and share what you're learning, what you thought of the course? Okay? So watch this while you're making your decision. Register now and I'm looking forward to helping you attract the most amazing woman in the world. Hey, what's going on? My name is Ash Kumra. I'm from Southern California. And I would say that the love program is all about how you can evolve and become the best man possible. The one thing that I'm really loving about David D'Angelo's program is that he's sharing that in order to attract the best quality people in your life, you have to be the most evolved human being. And all the programs that he's doing in this session, all the interviews he's been doing, all the speakers are helping me become more of an evolved man by learning from these successful models, learning from successful principles, and just overall, uh, just understanding what it truly means to be an evolved man, really nurturing the body, mind, soul. So I highly recommend every man to do this program. It is gonna help you in every aspect of your life. Thank you. Hi, this is Darren. Uh, I think you need to get the love program because it will change every single thing to your core as regards to love, dating, and relationships. It's a must-have program and uh, it's changed me on every level. My name is Joshua Tuck and I recommend the love program because it covers so much of what you need to have a long-term successful relationship. My name is Craig, I'm from Canada. I just want to send a huge thank you to Eben uh, for giving us uh, a set of tools to be superheroes of the future and to live on our, on our edge. And this program will help you contribute your greatest gifts, not only to your partner, but also to yourself and help you to stretch your wings and, uh, and get out into the world. Uh, highly recommended. Ken Ned, if anything is going to change your life, the love program will do it. Hi, I'm Josh Dunlop, and the love program is more than just about love. It's a personal development program that will help you to become a better person in every aspect of your life. Hi, Eben. My name is Fantastic Frank from Rochester, New York. I'm so blessed and honored to be at this event. You've given me clarity in my relationship and my business. You've made me focus on things I wasn't aware of. I am, getting, I am so blessed and honored to be at this event. Just like there is a greater love than self-love, there is a greater intelligence than singular intelligence. 
and it comes from gods and goddesses emerging from the background in real human beings. Hi, my name's Kevin, and I recommend the Love Program because it gives you a variety of perspectives to have a successful relationship, and also brings in some amazing speakers that help you dive deeper into what it takes to have true love in your life. This is not just the last chapter in love. This is, I think, is the beginning of the new chapter in new definitions of love and relationship, and this probably will revolutionize the way we think about love and relationship and the future of our world. I would, I would highly recommend this program to everybody out there. Hey, it's Adam Gilad, and I spoke here on how to inspire love rather than just find it. And I have to tell you, this love conference inspired me in so many ways. So many great teachers, so many great perspectives, so many great tools, not only to find love, but to inspire it for a long time. Great program. My name is Anthony. I feel like his Become Mr. Right program is a method of how to attract the perfect woman for you and the love the final chapter program is how to keep that relationship strong guys my name is Matt I'm from Atlanta so I recommend the love program because it's the next step if you're trying to improve your life and, and, and really get uh, a better sense of what's really going on and, and take that next step then then do it hi this is uh, Max from New Jersey and in love the final chapter I learned the specific strategies to know that I'm going to be successful in my relationship. The love program is probably the best program that I've ever done when it comes to love, relationships, and understanding myself as a man. I am Dominic and I flew all the way from Switzerland to here for this program and it's totally worth the long flight. My name is Yasmin, I'm from Portland, Oregon, and the love program is absolutely transformational basically upgrading your own personal operating system so you can run new apps for the rest of your life. Hey, my name's Chris, and I just want to say that the Love Program is extremely beneficial to all areas of life. It doesn't matter who you are, what you do, what your goals are, but the Love Program will benefit you in every area of your life. It has been transformational in four days, and I highly recommend it. Hey everybody, I'm Chris. Uh, I'm here to say that the Love Program by Eben slash David has been one of the most life-changing experiences for me. It doesn't matter uh, what you're going through right now, whether you're in a relationship, whether you're just uh, out there finding women and having fun, whether you have kids, or whether you're not interested in a relationship at all and just need a little bit of confidence, this, this program will do it for you. It will push your insecurity out. It will teach you to be all in with yourself. And I really believe that this is the final chapter in uh, whatever journey that we have that we're searching for for ourselves. So uh, congratulations for even slash David and uh, Annie for taking that step in their relationship and showing the rest of us that that true love is truly possible. My name is Barbara Rawson and here at the Love Summit, I have to say that this is, has been a room full of men, but this event is for everyone. Male, female, everyone with anywhere on the planet needs to hear this information because it's not just about guys and dating, it's about life and love. Thank you, Evan.